Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome, welcome, welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a nice little general reading for my beloveds. How well you all are chilling on your moon day, and everything is blissed in your world, that you all are in high spirits, feeling high vibes. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I've been very creative, tapping into my creativity as of late, and it feels so good. Oh my God, it feels amazing. <laughs> um, but I do want to say thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Welcome to anyone that may be new. I will that you all kick your shoes off, stay a while. Hopefully there's a message here that resonates with you. Um, this is going to be a deep dive. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure you saw that with the timestamp. My videos, uh, they vary between the hour 40 to like 220, you know, um, I just like to delve deep. I'm a, I'm a water sign, so I like to delve deep. I don't do the microwave, microwavable messages. I mean, sometimes they're very fitting. But for me, what, how I read, I like to give a very clear and concise message. I'm not knocking nobody that does, you know, shorter readings. But I just want you all to know that here, I take pride in giving you all clear messages. Um, and if I'm not your cup of tea, I'm just not your cup of tea, baby. You know, there's a gazillion people out there you could click on. But for anybody that's showing me love, I rotate that love back to you infinitely. So for anyone that may be new, like I said, um, my name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background. And I am also an empath. So I can pick up on your energy energy of those individuals that you're dealing with and they will all kind of resonate um the messages that are playing through the song tend to blend beautifully with what's you know coming out with the tarot card so whether the lyric of the song the name of the song name of the artist it will kind of chime in and it will really you know kind of like give the reading a next little extra little oomph all right, so that's why I use the music. I love the music anyway. I love music. That's just my thing, but I do get messages, um, you know, intuitively with that. All right, uh, my readings are general, so my spill is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars, check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. My readings are also timeless. So whenever you find this video popping up in your feed, that was the divine timing intended for you all to click on the video at that time. So let's go ahead. Now we have Teddy Pendergrass and this is called Close the Door. So immediately when I heard Close the Door, I feel many of you have closed the door to your past. Um, You've closed the door to an ex. You've closed the door to a karmic cycle. You've completed some sort of powerful karmic cycle and it's coming to an end. So now you're closing the door. For some of you, you need to close the door because there's a sense that you're kind of like waiting around for someone or waiting around for something to take place. Maybe you feel like there's been a delay, but the divine is telling you close the door, you know, because there is... A, a, there's a need for you to let go. It's almost like you have to let something go uh, because whatever it is you're waiting for, it isn't meant for you. Um, you. There's something greater awaiting you is what I'm feeling. What's What you're waiting on isn't what's best for you because there's something better that's awaiting you. So you have to let go. You have to release the past, release the ex, release a mindset, a ideology, a belief system, a habit, a behavior but there's something that needs to be let go of you got to close the door on that so that you can open up the door to a whole new chapter a whole new cycle okay so I feel strongly the divine is telling you all that there's a need for you all to let something go um, and a lot of times you know that door is representative of you know the cycle of life you know a cycle of life so many of you are um, you're unnecessarily repeating cycles because you're not learning the lesson and the lesson shall repeat until it's learned until it's learned so it's like that's why the divine is saying look close the door already close the door stop keeping your foot in the door keeping the crack don't keep the door ajar close it 
<laughs> all right. So for some of you all, that that's really resonant. And we have um, who's this? Oh, we have Floetry. <laughs> Floetry is now saying some of you all are waiting in vain. So this is Floetry's rendition of Bob Marley's song "Waiting in Vain." So some of you all are literally, like I just said, like I literally just said that some of you all are waiting for something, and that's not what's meant for you. There's something greater for you. When you're waiting in vain, it's like you're waiting um, in, a, in, in a space where there's no guarantees. There's no, there's no security there. You know, it's like you're, you're waiting for something that potentially is just going to fizzle and die. So it's like, why would you wait for something? You know, it's, it's not, it's not healthy to wait for someone. If you are waiting for someone, it's not healthy for you to just sit around waiting for them to return. It's like in the interim, you're supposed to still be working on yourself. You're still supposed to be like improving yourself. You're, you know, focusing on self-care, you know, and self-care isn't focusing on the other person and trying to jump through loops or trying to do things that will validate you in that person's eyes. So don't wait in vain for anyone. You shouldn't wait for anyone anyway. Life continues. Life goes on. So you should continue to push forward. You should continue to do your dil due diligence to, to propel yourself in a position of power opposed to being complacent or just kind of like self-sacrificing, if you will. So don't wait in vain because I feel like with wait in vain, you're, you're, you're literally, there's no guarantees is what I keep hearing is like what you're waiting for. It's not guaranteed that it's going to work out in your favor. And so all of that time you've been waiting has been wasted and you could get anything back except for time. So that's for somebody out there. All right. So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So Floetry is saying they don't want to wait in vain for your love. So I feel this could be your sentiment or maybe this could be the sentiment of someone that you are attracting to you. Maybe someone feels like they're waiting for a response or some sort of inkling that you're interested. Maybe this is a secret admirer waiting for some sort of sign. Um, but somebody is waiting in vain for another person's love. And I feel the only thing that is um, necessary to change that circumstance is to take action. So if there is a delay on behalf of universe because of divine timing, um, then that could also be an element of having to wait for the perfect time. And maybe somebody's waiting for the perfect time. But there is no such thing. If you are the one um, enacting that change, if you're waiting on the divine, the divine expects you to continue to stay diligent, to be that busy bee, to continue to work on yourself, heal thyself. Um, patience is a form of action in the divine's eyes. So there's no waiting and, you know, just fiddling your thumbs and, you know, inhaling and, <sighs> you know, like, when are they coming? Like, none of that. Like, you still got to be active. You still have to be in that space of, of you know, um, studiousness. Like, you still have to be proactive. You still have to be um, pursuant of your dreams, you know, of your goals, of your aspirations. You still have to take those internal self audits, okay? So that is what I'm picking up intuitively. So right now we have, um, who is this? Let's see who this is. We got, um, it says just forget. And this is by force of nature. So maybe some of you all are being told to forget something. It's like um, someone's being forced to forget. Because it says, it says just forget, but the name of the, the artist is called force of nature. 
So there's something that happened. There was something that happened naturally. Um, and someone is finding it hard to just forget you. Someone's finding it hard to just let this situation go, to forget that other person, maybe because there's a very strong sense of chemistry or a strong synergy between the two. I just feel a very strong soul tie or connection, soul connection with someone. And that's why it's hard to just forget them. That's why it's hard to just close the door. Okay, so it's making sense. So someone's trying to close the door, but it's hard because whoever it is that's trying to close the door they're finding it very difficult to forget someone maybe when they close their eyes that person's vision that that, that person's image of their face is there you know uh when they whenever they do anything it's like these memories flood them it's like they get overwhelmed with memories so it's hard to forget someone who's constantly on your mind it's hard to close the door or you know, to close some sort of cycle when someone is heavy in your heart. So I get it. Somebody is like, I feel agonizing and pain. Look at this. We got 85 and this says, follow your dreams. So this is someone who feels that you're like a wish fulfillment. That's why they can't let you go. And this 85 reduces to 13, 13 reduces to four. So I'm getting strong four of pentacles energy. Somebody is finding it very difficult to let you go because this is someone that is now getting some sort of epiphany of who you are, what you mean to them. This 85 also is giving me the 13 and that 13 represents a death. So there was a death of a connection. There was a de death of some sort of cycle. And someone's trying to close the door but someone is refusing to let them do so because they're holding on to them. Energetically, this person desires forgiveness. I feel they've been working on changing. Whatever it was that caused the demise of this connection, you know, maybe there was third parties. Somebody, you know, may have had other options with this 13 that's given me four of cups. So somebody could have had other love options and got you entangled in some sort of shenanigans, third party encounters. And now they're feeling like they've missed an opportunity desiring your forgiveness. But only you know whether or not you're going to forgive someone that has wronged you because it's it's something that you have to you you have to sit with it in your spirit and then you have to assess that person to see if there is actually you know, remorse for what they've done, or if they're just trying to, you know, gaffle you into thinking they're um, apologetic just so you could take them back. So that's something that you're going to have to uh, kind of deep dive and, and, and use your own discernment because that 40, uh, 96 reduces to 15, which is six. And that's the sixth chakra, which is your, you know, first eye. So it's like the divine is telling you, use discernment. Give me one moment. Thank you for that, for your patience. But yes, so someone sees that you are like, you know, some sort of wish fulfillment. And um, we have flowetry blessed to have. So this person is realizing that they were blessed to have you in their life. Um, this is that person that you may have walked away from. This is that person that you may have closed the door. Um, maybe this is someone who was trying to close the door on you and they find it very difficult to do so. But there is obvious... Um, Someone is aware that someone is a wish fulfillment. Someone is aware that, you know, you are where the good stuff happens, if you will. So let's see what we have on the split. See that relationship change and follow your dreams. So this 56, that's the vibration of the 1111. So this is someone that does feel like you are like their twin flame or their soulmate. You have a very strong connection with this person or this person feels this very strong connection to you. And this is someone desiring to come your way, to come towards you. Uh, with relationship change, I do feel someone is having to either break free from another connection um, and so that they could come towards you uh, or they're coming towards you with relationship in mind. They have relationship, you know, in mind. They want to 
you know, lock you down, if you will, not in a bad way, but just kind of take you off the market. They want to pursue you on a real level. Like they don't want to play any games. This is someone really interested in like commitment, you know, so and seven, that's this personal growth. And we have synchronicity here. So I'm strongly feeling like a lot of you all could be seeing synchronicities. I mean, a lot of people, you know, start to have those little moments of synchronicity when they are going through their ascension, when they're going through, you know, that that elevation, that spiritual uh, elevate alignment, I should say, spiritual alignment. And, you know, for some of you all, that's what you were experiencing. I feel this person you're attracting, whoever this is you're attracting is now going through that as well. Um, I feel there's a, a strong interest in, you know, having relationships and connections that are harmonized, um, not only on your part, but whoever this is that you're attracting. Um, they're feeling strongly like they want a relationship where the two of you just complement one another. You know, the two of you have, you know, like that homie love a friend vibe. Uh, they feel like they have someone that they can, you know, lean on or someone that they can take, you know, be supportive of and not have to second guess or question, you know, the motives or the ulterior motives. It's like with you, things are just natural. They realize they were blessed to have someone like you in their life. Um, or blissed, I usually, you know, that's how I say it, that the name of the song is actually blessed. But um, so, yeah, so someone's realizing that how much of a blessing you were to them, how much um, light you brought into their life, you know, how lucky they may have felt, or, you know, to have found you even. Like they realize, like, you know, you're not an easy find and you just kind of sort of fell in their lap, you know, for lack of better word or expression it's like you just kind of sort of fell in their lap look at that so you, this is definitely someone who wants a new beginning they feel a very very strong love this is someone who is really really passionate about you attracted to you missing you you move them we have cassandra wilson this is called you move me this is from the Love Jones soundtrack. So you move this person in a way that they've never been moved. And this is on a emotional and spiritual level. I feel like you stirred up feelings in this person that may have been lying dormant for years. You know, and so now with this energy, it's like this person feels like you really, um, you center them, you balance them. They feel this love. There's definitely a lot of love. And I feel... They want to express this love. They want to share this love, show this love. Because these feelings are intensifying here. They're intensifying. And like I said, it's almost as if you're, they can't stop thinking of you. With 32 music, this is telling me this song here, you move them. You truly move them in a way. You've moved them past tense. Because I get strongly, this is someone you have history. I heard unfinished business loud as freaking as loud as is just clear and loud as possible in my mind's eye this is unfinished business that's why the door couldn't be closed you know that's why there was a sense that you know someone was waiting in vain waiting for an opportunity and then that four that 13 showed up you know so that was giving me like the four of pentacles energy but this is somebody who's been thinking long and hard about this connection and that's why i feel they're making some decisions you know, they could have been tied up in a karmic relationship. And I feel they're coming to the realization that, you know, you move them. You move them in a way that they've never been moved. You make them feel feelings they've never felt. And this is something that I feel they're going to express to you very soon. Because this 32 breaks down to five. Five is telling me that... They desire to communicate, but it's also telling me that they're listening to music. And when they listen to music, it's like it's helping them to find the right words to say. And it's also helping them to better understand what it is they're feeling, because this is like new, new terrain for them, for them to be feeling these emotions and these feelings. I feel strongly like this is someone who has shoved and pushed their feelings down, suppressed them. Not only with you, but with everyone, any 
connection, any relationships they may have had, that's how they tend to um, deal with it. They, they don't really emote or they're not vulnerable. But with you, it's like you moved something in them. You've stirred something in them. You've, you've kind of like cracked the code, the Da Vinci code within this person emotionally. And I feel this person is really prepared, like they're trying to muster up the strength, the courage, and the confidence to communicate. Because remember, we saw forgiveness. So it's almost as if they're aware that they've done some things that, um, that you weren't deserving of. They may have treated you in a way that you weren't deserving of. When we get to the Four of Cups, that usually means that someone has, like I said, other options, third-party shenanigans going on, and you could have got caught up in that if this is applicable. Or maybe this is someone that's a friend, and they're starting to discover they have deeper feelings. And we have Chico de Barge, is the love still good? So divine spirit. So you definitely have um, history with this person because they're wanting to know if the love is still good. So this could have been someone that I'm her, I heard friends with benefits. This could have been someone that you was really cool with, really close with. Y'all may have been intimate, but y'all had, you know, maybe the two of you could have had those intimate moments, but you always remained friends. And then there was maybe an inst instance where one one of you wanted more and the other person couldn't offer it or refused rejected it and so there was a separation there was some sort of disconnect that's why i feel there's forgiveness that's why i feel there's someone that's been holding on because it's like un like unfinished business is what i kept hearing and we have love partnership on the bottom of the deck as I'm speaking of this. So this is definitely someone that desires to have some sort of new beginning. So we have 44 on the bottom of the deck. So you do have history with this person. You could have worked with this person. This is someone that really wants to collaborate, work together, team up, build an alliance. This is someone that has grown also. But they've become aware that you're not only wish fulfillment, that 44 which reduces to eight. But I'm also feeling like they could have been some sort of karmic lessons. I feel this person sees you now as wish fulfillment because remember we had the card, uh, follow your dream. And that was the third, that reduced to 13, whatever those numbers were, I forget right now, but it was like, follow your dream. And so someone, I think it was 85. So someone is following their dream and their dream is leading them to you. They knew they had to make some changes, you know, and I feel it had to do with their emotional intelligence. Like they had to learn to love, you know, but this is also like dual numbers. This is, you know, whenever these numbers match, I always feel like this is you and your divine counterpart that are mirroring one another. So both of you have been really healing, focusing on the self-care, self-love, you know, really standing in that self confidence and power being self-disciplined you know if someone who wants to offer you something real something stable someone who's also been holding on to you like I said and feeling like you've been holding back so the person that you are attracting to you this is someone who needs to surrender I feel like this person is being told to surrender to it because they're trying to fight it you know, they're trying to fight with their feeling, but it's coming to a point, like I said, where those feelings that have been lying dormant, it's like you moved something in them and it has changed their whole perspective. The whole trajectory of this circumstance has changed for them. And so now divine is saying, look, you need to surrender. Stop trying to control, get out of that ego mindset and just surrender, take action go forward that 91 to me is telling me that someone has to suffer an ego death in order to have this new beginning because we got 46 which is 10 91 which is 10 so there has to be some ending there is an ending there's something burdensome there's some sort of chapter that was closed or a chapter that's coming to a close or needs to in order for someone to surrender to you 
and have this domestic harmony that they desire, they're going to need to release or close the door to a past person that they could be tangled with. And it's been taking some time. There's been delays because this person has been working through their fears. I feel this person has fears. I feel that they also have like attachments. There could be codependencies. There could be addictions. There could be doubt. There could be insecurities. There's a number of things that would have someone feeling very complacent and stuck in their mind, in their head. And this is also like giving me the sense that someone is like, again, you know, waking up in the middle of the night thinking of you, waking up in cold sweats thinking of you, daydreaming thinking of you. And instead of, you know, thinking, they need to surrender and just take action. They need to go forward because that 91 reduces to 10, 10 uh, reduces to 1. So that's like a new beginning. That's like having the awareness that you can manifest whatever it is you desire. And so we have Matumi playing, and this is called You, Me, and He. So someone is definitely caught up in a third party because you, me, and he is three people. So that's what this person is trying to wrap up. I feel you are in a very ascended space. You're very spiritually aligned. You're very sensitive. This person can sense your, your very heightened spiritually, psychically, intuitively. That's why they know they have to correct whatever it is or fix or let go or close the door on whatever circumstance they have going on because it's like you will intuitively know, you know, because you, you, you can't get anything past you know, a, a high priestess or a high priest or a, a Scorpio, period, you know, very psychic, very intuitive. And so with this 7-7, seven, seven, I feel your person is also spiritual. And that could also be the reason why that synchronicity card, because now they're starting to have little downloads, nudges, you know, they're starting to have those little divine interventions from spirit, letting them know just how real this situation is. And now they're assessing their situation. They're assessing their circumstance, their current relationship with you, me, and he. Maybe someone has discovered whoever they were dealing with, their karmic is entangled in some sort of third party as well. This is in fact a spiritual partnership. The connection, the bond that you have with this individual that has been seen in numerous readings it is, again, this is what's hidden, is the impact of this connection. This is destined, and this is also someone that feels your wish fulfillment. This is someone who's been working on themselves. I feel you've been doing a lot of working on yourself. That nine is like the hermit. So a lot of introspective work, a lot of reflection, a lot of self-analysis, a lot of self-awareness, a lot of self-discovery. And in doing that work, you become enlightened. You start to see things clear, clearly. And what someone sees and recognizes is your beauty, is your, your power, you know, because I'm getting this nine of pentacles vibration. So it's like they're watching you kind of like just stand perpendicular in your square. You're looking good. You, 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 you taking care of business, you're a master manifester, you're an alchemist, you're a co-creator with source and you're, you've changed your whole outcome. You're single, you know, and you're content, you're self-sufficient, you're stable. You don't want for anything. It's like your hard work has paid off. You've worked hard to achieve your goals. And not only are you achieving them, you're superseding them, you know, and this person is like drawn to that. Because they have that same fire. They have that same passion. So this person does, I feel like you can, You may have worked with this person. If you didn't work with them, maybe you grew up with them, grew around them. I don't know. But I do feel like there's history. There's roots. There's some sort of roots there. There's some seeds. There's history. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Wow, you got a lot of cards. And we got this fifth forgiveness here. So I'm going to expound on these. So we got intuition. So pay attention to what you feel, like I said. Use discernment. 
I feel someone also is very intuitive as well that's coming in. There is a possibility for a happy ending. And we have four perseverance. So you've persevered through some really difficult times and you've healed. You've healed that self. Now you love that self. When you love yourself, you know that self. So now that you know that self, that's why you're in the space of like personal growth, you know, spiritual strength, being a healer, shaman, light worker, you know, being someone who's seen as a healer because you've healed yourself. But I feel the divine is saying because you are the empress, the emperor. You know, you have some sort of happy ending because you've done the work. This is like saying that you've healed. You've worked on yourself. You found that stability. You also found emotional fulfillment. You learn self-love. You learn to love yourself. The 71 health is telling me that someone's mental health is questionable right now because they're like desiring to come towards you, but they're, they're getting in their own way because they're thinking too much. 71 is giving me like eight of swords energy. You know, that's like a self-imposed, you know, prison. That's when somebody's just ruminating and pining over a situation instead of like taking action. And so we have um, Erica Badu stay playing. So maybe they're dealing with somebody who's playing mind games. They're a little confused, you know, even though they know what's best for them or they know what what's best for them to do. It's like they're allowing somebody to manipulate them to try to get them to stay. So we have the 78 spiritual career. So just as I said, as a spiritualist, not only are you and your person mirroring one another in terms of spirituality, being connected, you know, to a higher power, to source, to universe, but it says that the two of you could be like a powerful, a power couple. Look what you have here. You have this and these are like synchronized. So I feel the divine is absolutely confirming that you have a spiritual partner here. And you two are going to be like a spiritual power couple. You know how Beyonce and Jay-Z are a power couple in the music industry? I feel you and your person are going to be a power couple in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual aspect. Because both of you have gone through some tremendous life lessons and it's prepared you for this moment. You all are very, very connected on a spiritual level. I was feeling that in the beginning of the reading. And then we have individuality. Didn't, didn't I say somebody was trapped in some sort of codependent connection? So them breaking free and trusting their intuition is what's going. Because this 11 breaks down to 2 for how I'm breaking it down now. How I'm reading my cards intuitively. That 2 is telling me they're in that high priestess mode knowing that their independence is the foundation for their stability, security, and their overall happiness. So if there are some soul ties, they're going to have to release that. This 10, you got 91, 10. That's the, that's the decision to just surrender, to let go, let God, you know, stop trying to control the narrative and to let go of that person that's blocking them, trying to keep them there to try to keep them to stay with them. They need to go and be single they need to embrace singlehood. I feel Scorpios, that's what you all have been doing. That's why you have this newfound sense of joy, peace, and happiness because you've acquired everything you have on your own with no help, with no assistance. And this is why it's that much more appreciated. That's why you have gratitude. And I feel that's why someone is learning from you. We got synchronicity here. Can't make this up. So there's definitely signs. Your person is seeing 777-888-1111-999-1010. They could be seeing 111. They could be seeing 444-666. Remember when I first, uh, when I was reading the cards earlier, we saw 606. So this person now sees you as the empress. They see you in your divinity. And they were only able to do that once they got out of this, you know, codependent relationship and learned to be independent your independence like i said is the foundation for your stability and your security and your overall happiness so let's pull some messages from the um energy oracle deck so we have blossoming abundance here so this is the reward and recognitions for the ascension for the growth for you you know leveling up and graduating see that we got 45 there goes this 
masculine energy here that's been watching you from a distance not only and and this is the number three so you know this is you you know you're manifesting the abundance that's coming in you know all of this abundance all of this wish fulfillment is from your hard work paying off like i said you know that nine of pentacles that's like pre-empress status that's someone that has worked grinded blood sweat tears was focused in a studious energy mastering your craft sharpening your sword being creative i was picking up on a very creative energy earlier you know and that's really how you kind of like free yourselves is by you know creation you birthing new ideas birthing new projects it's like you don't know where that could take you and with the spiritual career it's going to take you far some of you all could be musicians because we had that music card show up. Some of you could be writers, singers. Some of you could play instruments. Some of you could be sound therapy technicians. Some of you could be Reiki healers. Whatever it is, whatever your spiritual gifts are, that's what's going to lead you to some sort of abundance and success and wish fulfillment. I feel you're being rewarded because you've persevered through a lot as is. So we have... We have Evelyn Champagne King. I'm in love. So somebody's realizing they're in love with you, as I said. And we have Angel of Balance. So what did I say? This person feels you're going to bring balance into their life. The overall energy is someone is seeking balance, seeking some sort of peace. They want peace in their life. You see that? And remember, close the door. So when the door, the door is ajar... And adjacent, you got all these people walking in and out. It's like, you, it's still unfinished business. So someone is like literally in a space. I'm putting that there. It doesn't go there. But this is what I was picking, pi you know, picturing in my mind's eyes. Like there's still doors open and the divine was saying, close the door. And this is like, you know, this is very symbolic or, you know, like it's, it's symbolic of like someone having like the door open to multiple people, multiple relationships. You know, and when you constantly have that kind of availability to other people, then like how what makes the connection with one person more special than the next? If you know what I mean, because you're still open, you're still available. And it's like if somebody's special to you, then nobody else should have access to you in the way that that special person does, if that makes sense. But what we have here clarifying the uh, harmony, domestic harmony, as I said, the angel of balance is bringing restoration. This, 80, this 48 reduces to 12. And that is three. So I feel strongly that this person that's coming in has been made aware that you are their divine feminine. They're also realizing that whoever they're trapped with, whatever they're dealing with, even if it's a divine, divine masculine, they're recognizing you as such, a divine feminine or divine masculine. And I'm saying divine feminine because that 48 reduces to 12, which is three. But even if it's a masculine, they're seeing something differently now. They're seeing how with you, the connection was always very balanced, very calm, cool, collected. It was like it was very cerebral, even like very stimulating The conversations you all would have. The time you all would spent was well spent. They had fun. You know what I'm saying? It's like I said, it's like whatever was lying dormant within them. It's like you moved that you, you shook something within them. And it's like they're starting to realize the balance, the love, the peace, the happiness, you know, that you brought into their lives. And they're also more importantly, f discovering that they're in love. They're in love with you. And all of these other options mean nothing. You know, with this 24, I feel like this is also speaking to someone who's, you know, making a decision to move away from all these options, you know, to choose what's important. You know, maybe they kept the door open because, like I said, you know, ego, pride, trying to fit in with the boys, trying to fit in with your girls, act like you're heartless, like you don't care. But the divine is clearly saying, look, surrender. And with this angel of balance right next to it, it's like surrender because this is what will bring you balance. Why is surrender here for who? Scorpio is attracting to them. I have a message of love and light. I can't make this up. And we got appreciation here. Someone didn't appreciate you. Remember earlier, this person, 
definitely kept you scraggling along, you know, but now they're realizing they love you and you're on the other side of the world. You could have moved away. They could have moved away. This is a complete, a completion of a cycle. As I was saying earlier, that 29 reduces to 11. So this is that twin flame soulmate. There's distance, physical, emotional, mental. There's no communication. This person is trying to resist reaching out and communicating with you. This person also is realizing that they need to surrender to this happy family because this is all they see in their mind's eye. This person has love for you. This person hasn't communicated this love for you, but they realize and have identified those emotions that they was trying to push down and ignore for so long is actually love. This person has been watching your ascension, as I said. They've been watching you grow. They feel like you are someone that they could build with, grow with, you know, plant seeds and roots, have happy joy, happiness and joy with. They can have children with you if you're still at a childbearing age. But this is someone that feels you complete them. This is like a very stable, sturdy connection, union. This is about compromise. This is longevity. This is familiarity. This is someone you have unfinished business with. And I feel like this is someone, maybe there was some sort of differences, arguments, but there was an ending. Something had to end. This person could also be ending some sort of family dynamic that they could be in. You know, this is an ending of this family dynamic and they need to surrender to it. Maybe they're trying to fight for something. Remember, close the door. Somebody's holding on to a karmic. And then we have Jade, don't walk away, boy. So somebody is being held back. You know, there's a karmic that's holding this person back, trying to use perhaps the children to keep them in a situation. I see a boy holding on to the masculine's hand. So maybe there's a, a, a son, someone has a son and someone is like a father figure to someone's son or maybe even if it's a daughter. But with don't walk away, there's a, a karmic that's trying to prevent someone from walking away remember we had stay earlier by erica badu now we have jay don't walk away so someone is that's what the the block is someone is refusing to let someone go and remember we had closed the door by teddy p and then we had waiting in vain so it's like you know almost like the divine is saying like you know someone's waiting for something in vain you know and it's like there's no guarantees that this person will ever break free from this karmic. It's up to this, this, this masculine or feminine energy that has karmic ties to walk away, to muster up the strength and courage because we do see they're at a 10. So we see 10, then the 29 reduces to 11. So it does seem like they are going to follow their intuition and they will make that decision to move forward because they, you know, the desire, a real happy connection. I feel like with this appreciation, someone definitely didn't value you. And now they have a newfound appreciation for you. And I feel like it's because, you know, maybe on a spiritual level, you've enlightened them or you just come off very nurturing, very caring, very giving, very loving of everyone around you. You know, very, very protective. And you're also wise, like this person sees you as wise. I feel there's unexpected communication coming in. So why is spirituality here? May I have a message for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. What did I say about attachment? Spiritually, you know, this person knows you're their spiritual partner, but they have attachments. They are bound and stuck to someone. And they're realizing they've been wearing a, a, a mask the entire time in this connection. And they know that in order for them to walk away, they're going to have to leave this person, this situation behind. This also could speak to you all. If you still have some sort of attachments or addictions or codependencies, this is the divine saying that you must release yourself. Because remember, close the door waiting in vain. I was saying that it's time for you to leave a situation. We got yin yang. Someone recognizes you as the yang to the yin. And this is masculine energy with that 22 4. Both of you are mirroring one another. Both of you are very much at a standstill. I feel like there's 
there's attachments, addictions, afflictions. There's certain ideologies, belief systems that's hindering this connection. But I feel this person has been holding on to you. And we have the Jones girls. And this is called um, Knights Over Egypt. And we got Angel of Love here. So the angels are on the case. You got the angel of balance and the angel of love. They're trying to restore the balance. This person recognizes you for who you truly are. This is beautiful to see because it's like it's not like this person is completely aloof as to the, you know, impact of this connection. It's just they're trying to get rid of a karmic or they're trying to. They're trying to leave a karmic, but they're trying to do so. in a just manner because I feel there was hit there's history you know they may have raised someone's children they may have children with this person so they're trying to do things right and exact you know so they're strategizing and they're planning and I feel the angels are helping this person we got the 21 again this is the world uh, card in traditional tarot so there is distance this person may pen you a letter Yeah, I feel this person was doing a lot to kind of like, you know, following societal standards, doing what the people around them told them to do. Because this is, you know, this five attachments, it's like this is what led to the demise of this connection overall is they were still t stuck to a karmic. You know, there was still some sort of attachments, addictions. There was still some codependency issues. Archangel Mikael is here to cut you free of any of those yokes, any of... The things that may keep you bound and stuck. He's also overseeing this. You have angels everywhere. You got the angel of balance 48. Angel of love 49. That's another synchronized number. Then you have 77 spirituality. And then you have 78 spiritual career. So this is very powerful. Because the numbers. You know it's coming out very synchronized. You also have happy family here. On your person's energy. And then we got the number 5. So 4 happy family, and then five. So there's still someone who feels, you know, like they're holding on to you. Maybe this is a karmic of your past that's still holding on to you, but I feel you're releasing them, you're letting them go because you're discovering that there was, you know, you were wearing a mask as well. This person is having to sever the tie with someone they were in a family dynamic with and you had to do the same. And I feel like that's the work, the soul work you had to do in order to find this harmony. Because remember, this person wants domestic harmony. And this is the yin to your yang, the yang to your yin. And then you have the angel of love and the strategy. So someone is now strategizing. Remember, I said that three of wands energy is like planning, preparing, and then taking action. But it's also like that waiting in vain, waiting for the opportune time to take action. Because, you know, you don't want to rush in and then, you know, kind of like blow the whole situation. It's like you want to take calculated risks. You want to know where it's going to land. But Archangel Mikael is overseeing this connection. And I feel it's because it is a spiritual connection. Like I said, it's destined. It's divinely ordained. And so we... um Let's see why is spiritual partnership. So Archangel Mikael is here protecting this union. And also, you know, cutting you free from those karmic cords, yokes, hexes, spells, anybody doing anything. See that someone's walking away. So Archangel freed someone, allowed someone that ability to walk away from that which was binding them and keeping them stuck. Someone is walking away so that they can come towards you. This is 2727. You both are matching one another's vibration and energy. See, this person, we got Keith Sweat. And this says right in the wrong way. So this person, like I said, because they have history, they want to do things the right way. You know, they want to leave on a, a positive note. They're not trying to burn a bridge because if there are children involved, it's like they're trying to be mindful, considerate of the children. But this is also saying, you know, somebody is is finally mustering up the strength and the courage to you know do what they feel is best for them and there's going to be some hostility that person they're walking away from whoever the karmic is 
they're going to be very upset. And this is why they're trying to be mindful. They're trying to be tactful, if you will. And that's why Keith Sweat is saying, right in a wrong way to love someone. So this person is realizing they was in a connection where it was the wrong way to love. It, it was either uh, with this attachment energy here, you know, that could that could speak to, you know, addictions and codependencies and afflictions and all kinds of, you know, behavioral and, and, and um, you know, habitual things that played a, a, um, a factor in this. But it's like they're finally mustering up the strength to walk away. And like I said, individuality for this to be the outcome, this is why, you know, when you're trapped in a cycle with someone that's not your person, the best thing to do is to leave, to walk away, to gain your independence. You have to be single. You have to rediscover what it is you like, what it is you love, what it is you desire, because you were in a connection with someone co-creating or coexisting rather with another person and you having to factor in their feelings, their emotions. And in this situation, I feel like now it's time for someone or for both of you all, you know, you're both in that space of like introspective work, you know, this is going within and there's going to be some hostilities here. Somebody's very pissed off. They're pissed off because someone is returning to their true love. There's a right way to love and there's a wrong way to love according to Keith Sweat and whoever this hostile person is they're going to be sweating this connection and this connection is is definitely like i said is destined it's predestined preordained this is like written in the books it's like it's written in the stars that the two of you are meant to be together this is like you know that that past life love connection 78 reduces to 15 that's six that's like the lovers and for the angels to be overseeing this and restoring balance and restoring the love and, you know, Archangel Mikael coming in to cut you free from these attachments that are binding you, whether this is, you know, attachments that are uh, people or hate behaviors. It's like it's because this is a spiritual union. It's, 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 it's a very protected, you know, very protected and destined connection. This is beautiful. And you can see here your person is also being guided to you because this angel feather. Is showing me that this person is, you know, your person is also, you know, strategizing to come towards you because this is the caring connection. This is what they envision. You know, this is that five. This is the person that can't let you go also, you know, because you got 14, five, and then we got attachment. And remember, I was picking up on the four of pentacles, which is typically someone that re refuses to release you, let you go. But, you know, this is the uh, also the depiction of that. How they feel about you is they feel attached. They feel spiritually attached also because it's falling under spirituality, yin yang. So they, they feel there's a soul tie here. There's a soul connection. And this is a connection they truly care for. And with this contract, this is destined. This is like this is some this is a sign that Mama Ma'at is going to work everything out in your favor. I also feel there's destiny here. Like, I mean, there's like some sort of um there's some sort of karmic lessons that are being learned. You know, this was, you know, you were attached to a karmic, had to learn. Your person was attached to a karmic and had to learn. Look what we have. We have healer of the ages, and this is clarifying spiritual career. Didn't I say because of the work you all have done, it is making you all healers. This 51 reduces to six. This 78 reduces to six. So that's six, six, that's 12, that's three. You are the divine feminine, divine masculine. It is the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine to create. And that's what you all have been doing. You've been mastering your crafts. You've been discovering your soul's purpose, your mission. You've been on a soul journey and it has made you healers. You have had to heal thyself in order to love thyself. And now that you love thyself, you know thyself. And this is what's garnering you a blissed career spiritual career i should say and then you also had 41 archangel uriel she deals with the crown chakra so this is definitely insinuating that you all are psychics like intuitives this is 51 6 and 41 5 so that's 11 these two cards together 
This looks like, you know, this could be like Jesus, you know. This is an ascended master, a healer. These are ascended masters, angels. It's like your angels are assigning you this role, you know, assigning you this spiritual role, this connection, you know, this, this spiritual partnership. Like I said, this is destined. It is written in the stars. And this is why I feel like you had to go through what you went through because it has helped you to ascend, to elevate you know, to become spiritually aligned, spiritually strong. And you also had to muster up the strength to walk away from those connections, whether they were love ships, friendships, you know, whether they were jobs, whether it was circumstances, you had to learn to walk away because this is what self-love looks like. You know, walking away from connections that leave you bankrupt emotionally and in healing yourself, you've become a great healer. And so now you have the ability to help the collective, your, psych your psychics, your clairvoyants, clairsentients, clairaudience, your scryers, your seers, your Reiki healers, shamans, like the, the magis, alchemists, like you, there's, Scorpios are very much, you know, tapped and tuned in already. But I feel like all the work you've been doing is just literally like putting you in a completely different, a completely different, um, on a, a completely different journey in terms of your spirituality. And we have anxiety here. So someone is trying to face their fears. You know, this is the nine. This is like the nine of swords energy. You know, somebody up in their head. And we got music soul child playing better man. So this is someone who knows like for, in order for them to become a better man, they have to be independent, you know, independent of another woman or another man if you're in the same sex but it's like this is about independence even if this is a feminine saying you know they want to be a better woman it's like you have to be a better woman within yourself first and foremost you know because that's an inside job nobody external to you can make you that you know what i'm saying you could compliment another person because of what you bring to the table and what they bring to the table it just makes you know a, a more full meal but like if you need somebody else to complete you or to make you better then there's still some work to do but i feel this is the anxiety somebody is fearing having to be independent you know maybe this is somebody who's always been in a relationship or maybe the relationship they've been in has been you know up to 10 years 11 years maybe they've been with somebody for nine years six years seven years but it's like this person knows you know maybe somebody who's you know losing the person you're attracting is is really you know having anxiety confusion you know trying to work through it so someone wants to somebody realizes i feel also like scorpios you make them a better man because with this yin yang and then with you move me and the spirituality you know and the 22 there it's like this is something this person has come out of hermit mode realizing you know, discovering about you, about this connection. They realize you harmonize the connection. You bring harmony into their life balance. You bring love and peace. And what he says in this song is hanging out with you just makes me want to be a better man. Laying up with you just makes me want to be a better man. I get a sense if you have been intimate with this person, like they could have watched you when you were resting, you know, like they could have just kind of watched you as you rested. I just get a sense of this person, like really like desiring or just really admiring, I should say, you know, you as you, you, you rested. So we got broken heart and then the garden and the gate. Someone doesn't want to break someone's heart. And I feel it breaks someone's heart to break another person's heart. You know, especially if they have history, but it's like they got to get out of their comfort zone. You know, the garden and the gate. Remember, walking away. So this is that energy. Someone knows they have to walk away. They got to let it go. You know, they have to let that circumstance go because it's like they have in all these dreams, all these. It's like they're imagining what life could be like, you know, living in their head, but not taking action. And it's like you have to. In order for you to know, you have to take action. So they need to muster up the strength, the courage, the confidence, you know. But this is what, you know, I feel like with this nine, 
This also speaks to the heartbreak that they feel, you know. They had to suffer heartache and loss as well. Now, we're going to pull some tarot cards. Let's see what we got. I'm going to use the uh, gilded. Yeah, we'll use the gilded, right? That makes sense. So let's go ahead and get the gilded. So we have got the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Now, didn't I say the nine of pentacles, you know, when I was talking about this here, spiritual partnership, I was picking up like nine of pentacles, you know, because that speaks to like working on yourself. This is pre-emperor status right here. I can't make this ish up. The nine of pentacles. This is how this person sees you. And we have John B. They don't know. They don't know about this here, meaning they don't know about this love here. This is a spiritual partnership. It's not meant for everybody to understand it. There's going to be a lot of people questioning. There's going to be a lot of people that got a lot to say. And these are people trying to keep someone bound and stuck to them. Remember, we had stay and then we had, you know, somebody um, begging, you know, for someone not to leave. You know, so we got the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. So absolutely, someone is working hard. I feel like, you know, maybe you felt robbed in this connection. As, as I said, I'm seeing history and I see history. Somebody's manifesting you back. Because they have this awareness now. Now they realize that 46 domestic harmony, that reduces to one. One is the magician. And we have the magician here. Someone realizes the balance, you know, realizes you're like natural born healers, you know, that you ground their energy. You restore the balance in their life. You make them feel like everything is already all right. And this is what they want to do. They want to manifest you back into their life because they have love. This is somebody that recognizes the love they feel. Somebody that may have ignored it in the past. See that? It was juggling. They played, you know, they played a fool. They was foolish. But I feel like they also want to take a leap of faith. They do want to take this leap of faith, but they have a lot to do. They got some ties to, to tie. You know, they, they got to cut off the loose ends, if you will. This is the wake up call. Judgment. And you're going to make the judgment call. You're the one. Because like I said, you're sitting pretty. You don't want for anything. You know your worth and value. You're grounded, balanced. You're successful. You're working hard. You're achieving your goals. You know, you're spiritually in tune. See that? This person's having a wake-up call that you are that person. You're the one that can give to them equally. You're the one that they can have that equal exchange, that equal give and take. And you could be on the other side of the world. They was deceiving themselves. See that? This is self-deception. They're starting to get that wake-up call. Starting to see things for what it truly is now. You know, they were a little confused, a little blurry. But I feel time away from you has, you know, brought a lot into, brought a lot into the light. You know, brought a lot into um, their awareness here. And we have strength and judgment. So like I said, someone is really busy trying to muster up the strength to deal with all of this karmic stuff. That's why we had close the door playing, waiting in vain. So this waiting in vain could be you. Maybe they feel like you waiting in vain. You know, Scorpio, maybe somebody's waiting in vain for your return. But whatever the case, maybe the karmic is waiting in vain for things to improve. Whatever the case, it's like I'm seeing the narrative now. Someone needs to muster up the strength to take action. They need to just leave because what's hidden is walking away. So someone does eventually walk away so that they could pursue that spiritual partnership. And I feel you know intuitively, but it's taking a lot for them to do this, to take action, because there is a lot of, of loose ends here. And we have Ascension playing by Maxwell. No one's going to love you. So ascension. So this person is fearing like no one's going to love you like, you know, no one's going to love them like you did. Someone's fearing someone's ascension. Maybe somebody's telling them that lie. Like, Ain't nobody going to love you like me. You know, but this person is, is asc for ascension is like you see things now from a completely different vantage point. You've ascended. You've grown. You've elevated, you know. So someone can't dupe them anymore. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. Like somebody was duping them, lying, tricking, deceiving, being dishonest, speaking with a forked tongue, you know? All right, so bottom of the deck. See that? What did I say? D the devil, D-evils. 
This is what somebody was dealing with. Somebody was bringing a lot of lies to the table. And this is why this person was feeling imbalanced. They was not feeling harmonized. But your energy harmonized them. This person has some sort of obsession. Whoever they're dealing with is very obsessed. And they hide their eyes. So this is someone who's very, you know, had, this, had your person, I feel, almost like blindsided they blindsided them see this emperor they was dealing with somebody very controlling but i feel this is also the divine saying that they need to surrender and relinquish the need to control and trust the process trust the divine the divine is doing what the divine does which is trying to bring this person to their truth and we got ascension playing and it says no one's no one's going to love you. So don't ever wonder. So this is what this person is realizing. Like there's no love here. They, they've had that epiphany. Like this whole happy house situation, that happy family is done. You know, because we got surrendered. Just surrender to the fact that it's done. Like the chapter is, you know, is coming to a close or, you know, that karma cycle is coming to a close and it's time to move on. We got this emperor. They got to boss up and they got to just take action and do what they need to do. See that? We got the ace of pentacles. So they want to make an offer. This is a new blessing, like some sort of financial opportunity. This is stability. This is security. Someone could be moving into a whole into a new home. This is someone like getting their independence. This is what that individuality is about also. And we got the Knight of Cups. There's a message, apology, some sort of incoming communication. It's coming in quickly, abruptly, especially with strategy. Somebody's trying to plan, you know, kind of like reciting what they're going to say or just kind of, you know, making a... a um, Just kind of making their own little um, blueprint, you know, as to how they're going to, you know, pursue this or pursue you. But there's a message, there's an apology. You know, there's an extension of an apology here. Why is 77 spirituality attachment, 22 yin yang, 49 angel of love and a 21 strategy here? See that justice, karma, dharma. Scales are being balanced out, beloved. Didn't I say unfinished business? I was feeling like there was some incoming news. So the six of swords, you moved away from somebody. This is what your higher self told you to do with that spirituality. Your higher self said move away from anything that tries to keep you trapped, stuck, and in two minds. Anybody that brings confusion and delusion, get break free from it. So I feel like you created space, a sacred space at that. A safe haven. We have um, Shaka Khan, sweet thing. So I feel like someone definitely, what did I say about the four of pentacles? Someone realizes just how sweet you are. You got the four and the four. So this is somebody that realizes you are a sweet person. You have a very pure heart. You're very caring. You're very humbled. You're kind. You're not aloof. You're not, you know, self-centered and absorbed. You care about the people around you. When you love someone, you love wholeheartedly. You're not loving, looking for things in return. It's like you love because that's just your, the way you're made. That's the way, that's your makeup. And so this person, that's what they've been holding on to. They've been holding on to the sweetness of you, to the, to the love, the lightness that is you. The emotions they feel around you. They feel like you, you compliment them, like I said, with that yin-yang. And they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let this connection go. See that? The hanging man. They're starting to see things differently. And it's because this angel of love is forcing them to see. See that 49, 4? And then we got the 4, 4. So this person, the angels are working with this person, helping them to see things from a completely different vantage point. Helping them to see things from a completely different perspective, especially in regards to this connection, the love they feel for you and the love they have. This person could have lost everything, you know, trying to play around, 
trying to toy with your emotions and it only caused them to feel confused. I feel like they had a lot binding them and keeping them stuck also. And that's the reason why the angels had to step in because they have, you know, some sort of dark entities, some shadow work, you know, somebody who's in their shadow side of karmic, like I said, that was causing this imbalance. And you got the nine of wands. So I feel like this is you like gracefully bowing out saying, I'm not here for the nonsense. I don't, I don't, I don't have time for that. And so they feel you're guarded. You know, they feel definitely like you are guarded. And that's why I feel like there's this, this need to strategize. You know, this is why they are, you know, kind of planning how to come towards you, reciting what they're going to say, rehearsing what they're going to say even. And it's because they've become aware they're fully aware of who you are. And I feel like with this justice card, it's also saying that, you know, a divorce is necessary. They're going to leave someone or something behind so that they could pursue the spiritual partnership. And it said, she said, love me now or I'll go crazy. So this person definitely is mustering up the strength to walk away from a karmic, to walk away from someone so that they can restore the balance between you and them. And we have Donnie, and this is called Heaven Sent. So they do feel your Heaven Sent. They do feel like this is, you know, absolutely, you know, preordained, destined. You're Heaven Sent. You're Heavenly Sent to them by your guides, angels. Thank you, Spirit. So we got your card, and we have the High Priestess. And this is, you know, again that connectivity this also is speaking to you know perhaps that person that could be trying to convince them not to leave you know saying stay and all of that but this person is going towards you because they know you are the one that's heavenly sent the other is demonically sent somebody they could have like i said some sort of um karmic connection to but someone is absolutely going to trust their intuition i feel this is the person, you know, that had this message of intuition with the numerology deck. Remember that card showed up. And so someone is going to use discernment because they know that there is more, you know, beneath the surface. There's a little more digging they have to do, but they know that they have to walk away because they're not happy. So there is with this hierophant, there could be someone going to a counselor to you know, perhaps a pastor, a master teacher, maybe they're going to an elder in their family or someone who has been married for a number of years to seek some sort of wise counsel. I feel this also speaks strongly to future plans of marriage, someone actually being able to envision themselves married to you. I feel also, you know, with heavenly scent, you know, playing by Donnie, this is the divine saying, this is absolutely a spiritual partnership you got the hierophant and the high priestess which is one in the same so that energy in and of itself is speaking to you know the magnitude you know of this connection and what this person is doing to come to the conclusion like they're doing a lot of introspective work but they're also um you know they could be like reading their basic instructions before leaving earth or meet reading spiritual documents or, you know, kind of like just meditating a little more, going within um, so that they can receive those downloads. And I feel like they're going to absolutely receive those downloads. So let's see. Why is uh, spiritual career, healer of the ages, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel here for the out? Uh, what is that? The out no, that's the what's hidden. And we got the wheel of fortune. So there's. I'm, I mean, what did I say? This is destined. This is this connection is destined. But I feel if there was blocks or delays, the divine is removing those blocks and delays because now is the time. Something that's heavenly sent is coming in and it's coming in quickly. The will is turning in your favor. And I feel there's a knowingness. You know this because you've worked hard to achieve this, to accomplish this. I feel many of you manifested this because you are in that sense of awareness. You are going to have success in your spiritual career, as I said. 
And it's because, you know, the work you do on yourself, you know, it's like it, it, it will just it permeates. You know, a lot of people will be able to see if you've really been healing and, you know, just by the way you carry yourself, just by the way you conduct yourself, communicate. And I feel this is why I feel like if there were delays that they're, they're coming in now, the wheel is turning in your favor. Maybe you had someone sticking a fork in your wheel. But I feel whatever this is, whatever this devil energy is, we're going to I want to get one more message to clarify that devil. Who is this devil? Because I know that devil has to be attached to the karmic, whether you're karmic or the person you're attracting, they're karmic. So I got two cards. So, yeah, this is somebody who had someone stuck at a fork in the road in two minds. See that? But the love prevailed. See this? The memories of love. Didn't I say the lovers? So the memories of love is what prevailed. This person was being, you know, having to choose. Do I choose the devil or do I choose love? You know, and the devil is, is, is very tempting. And he'll use, you know, all kind of trickery, you know, deceit. All kind of lies to get what he wants. And that's why somebody was kind of stuck in that fork in the road. But there's only one way to go and that's towards the sun. And the sun has revealed, you know, this is them like, imagining dreaming of holding you and you see how that man is is damn near invisible and it's because they're having these dreams these daydreams these night dreams of embracing you holding you loving you because you're the one that brought the balance you're the one that brought the love the harmony into their life and they're feeling left out in the cold abandoned because you've created boundaries because you are on some do not disturb my groove you know, you've blocked everything, anything that was trying to keep you stuck. You already moved away. You know, maybe that's the dilemma is that there's no contact at all. But someone feels very much abandoned. So why is this 11 individuality and broken heart here? See that broken heart? It came out in reverse, but it's still the same. I don't read reversals. So maybe they're healing from that. Yep, they're healing from that because now they've come to the realization that they need to make an offer, a solid offer. This is someone coming to you and saying, look, I have a confession to make, Scorpio. I know I was playing hard to get in the past. I know I may have even communicated my lack of interest in a relationship. But I've come to the realization that I love you. I can't stop thinking of you. I can't stop dreaming about you. I can't stop imagining being intimate with you. I can't stop thinking about the last time we were intimate. When I close my eyes, I see you. When I wake up, you're the first thought in my brain. This is what this person is saying. So to change all of that, will you be mine? Will you be my wife? Will you be my husband? I want longevity with you. I want to build with you. I want to grow old with you. Whatever you want to do, I'm there for you. I got your back, middle, front, side. This is somebody that's going to make an offer. This is something, this is the waiting in vain, the garden and the gate. You know, kind of waiting in vain. Somebody, you know, imagining or rehearsing, like I said, making that offer. You know, making an offer, but fearing, fearing heartbreak. We got the broken heart and the three of swords. This could also speak to both of you, you know, healing and learning to become independent through heartbreak and loss. And now there's this restoration, you know, there's this, this restoration because you have obtained your independence, your security and your stability. You've been able to obtain that after heartbreak, post heartbreak. And this is the nine. So that's the highest number of change. So with the seven, they fear you being guarded. This would break. This will break. This is like gonna. This will be a double heartbreak if they come in and offer you this and you decline. So this is we got something, something mellow, smooth playing by Maxwell. So it's like this is what they're trying to figure out. Like, would you be receptive? Let me see. Because the independence is like you ain't really looking. See that the seven, seven of Pentacles. So you're open. You're open to it. They also know like you. You made a lot of effort in the past. Remember, I kept hearing unfinished business. So this is definitely the sign of unfinished business because you got seven pinnacles 
and then she's sitting here by herself with seven pinnacles and it's like you know what happened to teamwork makes the dream work and it's because somebody abandoned you mid you know in the middle of cultivating the earth to grow more produce it's like they just left you stranded but your hard work is going to pay off regardless you know you've still managed to plant seeds in good faith and that's why this ten of pentacles is here because your hard work is going to pay off but you i feel somebody is having to you know step outside of their comfort zone you know what i'm saying give me one moment i'm sorry so yeah somebody's definitely needing to you know step outside of their comfort zone because they're just kind of like in trapped in this you know this gate looking out into the world and, and and imagining and dreaming what it could be like with the king of wands you know this is really you know that wandering eye this is somebody who's you know very charming very attractive you know but they're also a go-getter so maybe this is that person embodying that energy of you know that very passionate confident uh you know um energy to go after what they want let's get one more message yep can't make this up the eight of wands so they're going to take action they do muster up the strength the courage and the confidence i feel now they're just healing you know the four swords is really like just healing from heartbreak because i mean after you get stabbed in the heart you know it's like you, you see this heart is pierced so somebody is recovering this is recovery you know this is also somebody taking a onus and accountability you know reflecting on some sort of past circumstance you know, also recognizing when there were offers being made that weren't accepted, you know, but, um, you know, having these fears, you know, being a little too complacent also, but I feel they're going to get out of that because they're going to, they're going to muster up the strength to come towards you. I feel strongly that somebody does, you know, finally make a move, you know, to come towards you and to say everything that they've been wanting to say, because this is, you know, that eight and that eight is about you know, incoming news, exciting news, you know, happy news, joyful news. And so we have Joe to see this is called fun tonight. <clears throat> so whoever this is, I feel like they're going to invite you out for some fun. They're going to invite you out, you know, for some drinks, some food. So we got four page letter. These are my thoughts. Should I send it? Text, delete, text, delete. And we got blue heron. It says the most high is watching over you. It says protection, prosperity, self-determination, self-resilience, inner peace and stability, psychic powers. So everything that we've ever, we see here with the spiritual partnership and the spiritual career, spirituality, it's very clear that you all are spiritual beings. But more importantly, it's clear that you have a spiritual connection with another person. And this person is trying to pen you a letter. This is this person that's trying to, you know, rehearse what they're going to say you know they could be penning you a letter and then crumbling it up or texting you know starting to send you a text and deleting it or sending it you know typing up an email and deleting it it's just like you know they're trying to get the words right is what I'm getting you know but this person is gonna you know I feel like you know they're gonna come in light-hearted and they just might invite you out like I said for eats they might even invite you out to like a game room you know, Dave and Buster's or something fun and light just to kind of clear the air. And so we have mistress is what they call me. And I answer to it. No shame. So there was third party shenanigans going on, just like I said. And we do see that here. So someone was distracting your divine feminine or masculine from you. You can see that here clearly. That's why you have this fork in the road. Should I go towards my past life love, twin flame, or this devil? So they could have had some sort of incubus, succubus energy attached to them, keeping them bound and stuck mentally, emotionally. Once you sleep with a person, it's like you're sleeping with everyone they slept with, especially if the person is promiscuous. So I feel like that could have been why someone was really trapped mentally. And so we have cowards run from a problem, not towards it. If they wanted to, they would have fought for you. So this is how you may have felt about this situation, that somebody didn't fight for you, that they just kind of like just left you hanging, you know, just scrangling along, you know. And it says selfish loving me, myself, and I, and enjoying getting to know me better. That's exactly what this empress does. That's exactly what, you know, this uh, nine of pentacles energy is all about, you know, spiritual partnership. This is about the connection to self. 
you know, prioritizing your needs, wants, and desires, getting to know the things you enjoy, the things you like, because you're no longer having to, you know, pencil in everybody else's needs and wants and desires. It's just like, oh, okay, I can finally do me. So I feel like you truly showed some of your, you know, enemies, you know, just how powerful you were in walking away. You know, walking away is a very powerful statement. Especially when you're being mistreated or being devalued. And so I feel like that's that's something that is one to grow on for all of the onlookers. <laughs> is they starting to see you in a completely different light. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And it says they're tuning into your channel, social media, driving by your home. Looking at old pics, obsessed, secret admirer, stalker alert. And so you have someone that is stalking. Give me one moment. All right, my bad. So there's definitely someone stalking and watching. You could have a karmic also watching and, and, you know, kind of obsessed with you because they know their person is heading towards you. And we got um, Jocelyn Brown, somebody else's guy. So that could be, you know, this is this is somebody who is attached to another, you know, to another person, a karmic, but they're dreaming of you. You know, this is somebody that is watching you and maybe whoever they're dealing with is watching them and has discovered or learned of you. And so with somebody else's guy playing, this is definitely somebody who is attached to a karmic. And I feel like they are desiring to exit that connection because there's a lack of harmony, lack of love, and a lack of balance. And only you bring that balance. So they are leaving the situation. You know, they're making a decision, I feel, to come towards you. You know, there's a decision that they're making. This is a conscious decision. And it's because they have love. This is a secret admirer. I did feel that and it came out. I also feel you have a karmic stalking you as well. And so we have sacred space offerings, honor your ancestors, guides, and spirit team. And so this is what this person is surrendering to, you know, at this time. I feel like they could be getting a lot of guidance, getting a lot of downloads um, from their ancestors and their spirit team. Telling them what direction to go. You know, we do see that something is coming to a head. It's coming to a close. It's ending. And I feel like it has a lot to do with a marriage. You know, with a, um, you know, maybe even if it's some sort of uh, common law marriage. Someone has a life partner or whatever. It's like, you know, the years that they've put into that connection. It's like they're, they're mourning it. But they know it's the best thing to do. And so they could be, you know, building up you know, a new uh, foundation, getting their own place, moving into their own home with sacred space. I do feel like there is, you know, much more of um, an intention to really pray, to really connect with that spiritual, uh, with their spirit team, with their guides, their ancestors. You know, they could be calling on them for guidance in this circumstance. Um, we have uh, Bruce um, Hornsby, and this is called The Way It Is. So this person is, you know, kind of like, you know, asking for assistance with how things are at this moment, you know, asking for guidance um, to make the right decisions uh, because they don't want things to stay the way they are. OK. And so we have in the bottom of the deck, it says perform a grounding ritual, kick your shoes off and plant your feet in the dirt. So that's what this person is trying to do, I feel, is trying to ground themselves, you know, trying to find that that sense of balance. You know, trying to find, find that equilibrium within themselves. And so it says, pay attention to the signs. It says, um, it says downloads. It says inhale peace, exhale bull crap. And then we have witching hours, three to five, stay protected. And it says dreams, don't forget them. They are more than something you wake up from. Believe. So that's what's been holding this person, you know, holding... This person's been holding on to hope because they know, you know, like like I said, with that synchronicity, they're getting some sort of synchronicities, downloads from spirit because the divine is sending them messages, messages in regards to how things are currently happening in their lives. Because we have Bruce Hornsby, the way it is playing. So they're looking at things the way they are. And they also are recognizing perhaps like they're waking up during, you know, these these witching hours and I feel like it's a lot of it has to do with you know their dreams their aspirations they're starting to discover things about themselves that maybe they were suppressing like I said you you move them so maybe even 
memories and thoughts of you are unlocking certain memories within them. But they could potentially have this devil doing some sort of, you know, sorcery or root work or witchcraft, black magic, you know, on them, trying to keep them stuck, trying to keep them contained, trying to keep them bound to them. And that's why they need to perform a, a grounding ritual so that they can tell when they're out of equilibrium, so that they can tell when their, their energy or their mental is being manipulated. This will bring them back into equilibrium emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So why is spirituality, the five attachments, six of swords, the two yin yang, the 21, <coughs> excuse me. And we have guilty conscience. I can't eat, baby. I can't sleep, baby, without you in my life. And it says, ask for what you need. Closed mouths don't get fed. Look at that. This person has a guilty conscience because they got you caught up in something that was that was a karmic connection. They didn't expect things to turn out the way that they are right now. And this person is trying to muster up the strength to communicate and express these feelings, which is why they are strategizing, rehearsing, which is why they could be tuning into your channel, watching you from a distance just to get a feel of what to say, how to say it, because this person feels guilty. I was picking up remorse and shame and, you know, earlier. And that's what this person cannot eat. They can't sleep because they constantly think of you. And it's because they've had that epiphany that, damn, this connection is actually um, real love that I'm feeling here. You got the 49, the angel of love is bringing the, your person into awareness of what this is. They're enlightened now. That's why they've been holding on to you. Even if not physically, just energetically, mentally, emotionally, like they've just been holding on. And maybe the person that they were with can feel that too, because that's not something you could hide. Meantime, <laughs> meantime, in between time, this is what y'all doing, Scorpios. Y'all are honing your skills, gifts, and talents because you know practice makes perfect. And that's absolutely what the spiritual partnership is all about. You know, like I said, you know, focusing on the self, introspective work, healing, self-analysis, self-awareness, self-discovery, but also honing that energy, channeling that energy to co-create with source. You are all master manifestors, healers. And this is where you've become aware of that ability, that skill, that gift is through healing. And look what it's going to bring you. Cha-ching, cha-ching, baby. Success. It says success. It says it says um, money, 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 manifesting your dreams, wish fulfillment, job offers, investments. So you have some positive, positive um, financial outcomes coming in. It's like your money is going to be. Look at this. I didn't even see this on the bottom of the deck. You, you all are coming into some sort of blessing. This is a wish fulfillment it has everything to do with a career choice, even if it's something you do. Um, that you're passionate about. You may have a job, but you also have a spiritual career, which is really your passion. And I feel it's leading to some sort of business deals, abundance, prosperity, opulence. This is like leading to carnucopia. I feel like you're going to be taken care of and you've manifested this. You're a master manifestors with this wheel of fortune. This is destined. It's preordained. This is fortune, fame stability and someone is trying to guilt trip another person into staying with them and this is somebody who's immature see that so this is what somebody is trying to do trying to keep someone stuck in two minds feeling guilty about leaving but they know it's done this is someone very childish and very immature they're realizing someone's not on their level and this is why they're breaking free because they know that they have not been doing their due diligence and we have um tony 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 just me and you so this is what this person is dr daydreaming about dreaming about being with you dreaming about coming toward you and i feel like they're going to they're going to at some point quiet all of that noise that that karmic is 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 um filling their head with telling them how broken hearted they are you know telling them how much they need them and they need to stand independent of this connection and they're going to. 
And then they're going to eventually take action because they're going to finally walk away. They're going to leave this gate. You know, this is that person that could have been trapped. You know, this is like, you know, ch uh, just childish uh, tendencies. My card went under. Where is it? There it is. So this is like somebody who was kind of like trapped in, in a like a very childish mind state you know, very immature in the way that they was dealing with things, you know, avoiding them. But it's like now they're finally going to muster up the strength to just walk away because all they could think about is just you and them because we got Tony, 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 just me and you. Some of you, you could be dealing with somebody named Tony, you know, but um, Scorpios, it looks like your person is on their way in. They look, <coughs> excuse me, my throat is getting blocked. There's definitely no communication. Excuse me, but that's going to change because this person is working very hard. And not only are they working hard, Archangel Mikael showed up with the sword, the sword of truth. So someone has become illuminated <clears throat> and they also may have been blocked from communicating. You know, somebody could have done some sort of binding rituals, freezer spells to bind someone. <clears throat> what they truly desire is to communicate. This is a seven. So there could be a lot of communication. Like we see they're dreaming of you, thinking of you. So they all, you're, you live in this person's head. But look what we have on the bottom of the deck. I just noticed, <coughs> goodness, breakthroughs and victories. I believe this came out in the former reading. So Baba Ogun is very significant here. A lot of you, that could be your Baba, your, your spiritual father. Archangel Mikael could be your spiritual father. So this energy right here is what you have to look forward to is a successful outcome. Wish fulfillment, things you've manifested, opportunity, circumstances, financial blessings, love. You've manifested these things as the ascended master that you are, as the healer, shaman, light worker that you are. And I feel like these things are going to come into fruition quicker than you can imagine because you got this eight of wands here. And your person is going to shock, he's going to shock you or she's going to shock you. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping into the channel. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. And you know how I do as of late. I've been really busy working, creating, manifesting. I'm going to be opening up my shop in, um, in July. And I just want to show you all what I've been working on. So this is a selenite bowl. Um, and this is a black obsidian. Um, it's a black obsidian and a gold obsidian um, tree that I made. And this has a selenite bowl here. And there's some, you know, beads in the bottom. And then there's also obviously uh, some beads in the tree there. So that's the black obsidian and gold obsidian. And then we also have amethyst and tiger's eye and this is also seated in a selenite bowl this is quite hefty so this is really really good very powerful energy and this one is palo santo beads and they have a couple of evil eye beads in there and there is tiger's eye on the bottom also selenite bowl and these are some trees that i made i made a couple of things um i want to show you a candles that I've made. Give me one moment. All right. So this is my candle. If you look, um, has all of the celestial energy, all of the zodiacs here on the can, on the tin, and then inside. Hopefully you could see that. This is not doing it any justice. Let me get my. Where's my phone? I don't even know where my phone is. So inside there is uh, amethyst. There is a uh, black tourmaline and then there is uh, Celesta. Um, oh, my goodness. S selenite, not selenite. Oh, my God. Why can't citrine? Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm tripping, tripping citrine. So it's a purple candle. And this is what I call this is my higher frequency candle. But I just I'm trying to show you. I'm going to put the flashlight on it so you can kind of see it a little better. Does that do it any justice? Hopefully you could see it. But this is what it looks like. So I'm selling these candles. These are scented. They're charged. 
and these are protective candles as well um but these are just a couple of things i've been working on my shop my shop will be opening july 1st guaranteed uh this time around i've been very very busy so i just wanted to kind of show you guys what i've been working on i will definitely keep you all abreast when i launch i do want to send you um a huge thank you just for the love just for your comments i appreciate you all so much i really do i love the love that you all show to one another as well as to me i appreciate you all um and i thank you so much for tuning and tapping in the channel is growing um i'm actually once i reach um 10,000 subs I am going to give away uh, a couple of items, you know, a couple of things that um, I think I'm going to give away some some of my uh, crystal trees, some of my other crystal trees. I may give away, you know, some candles, some some stones, some Palo Santo, some sage bundles. I'm, I'm going to hook y'all up because y'all have been showing nothing but love. And I just want to rotate that love. I might even do like. Uh, one or two or maybe even three free readings uh, for a couple of you all just let me know what y'all want you know what y'all would like you know in terms of just like a thank you uh, but I do want to rotate the love because you guys give me so much love so it would only be right for me to rotate that and extend it back to you but I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to the channel. I send infinite love and light to each and every one of you. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace, y'all.